I already collect the discographies of four EXO members. I cannot collect Suhu's. <laughs> I am attacked. I need something to hold on to. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm just, I'm leaving this K pop life. Hey everyone, so today I am checking out Suho's new album. I forgot what the album's called. What's it called? Did I write it down? <laughs> did I write it down or did I just write? I just wrote down what the songs are called. Is it called 1, 2, 3? I think it might be called 1, 2, 3. I'm not sure though. Sorry about that. Um, I'll, I'll know by the time I upload this, but yeah, um, there is what seven songs on this album. We're doing the first four in this video and then three in the next video, which will come out a couple days later. I know I'm a bit late to this, but that's because, um, I was in Korea <laughs> when it came out. No, I wasn't in Korea when it came out. I had just come home from Korea when this came out. So, you know, like it was kind of hard to film this at that time because I was like unpacking and stuff. Um, and just in general, trying to get back up to date with all the comebacks that I'd missed while I was gone. But yeah, Mayday um, <clears throat> is the first song we're listening to. This is actually going to be my first full Suho album because I only listened to Grey Suit and Hurdle of his last album thus far. I do plan to eventually get to the rest of it, but those were the only two songs I knew. I loved Hurdle though. So we'll see how I feel about this album. I know he does ballads as well as more upbeat songs. I'm not necessarily a ballad girly, so we'll see how this goes. He also drops this, dropped this like right after Chen, which I'm also filming very soon. So yeah, let's start with Mayday. Let's go. song is weird but I like it oh, it's very vibey <clears throat> oh the do he's also he's coming to Germany soon I have to look up when that when those tickets go on sale because I might go <laughs> If, if I do go, you will s suddenly get a lot of Suho videos. <laughs> I just check out all his music. Oh. Mm, pretty! Oh, I like this. Oh! I really like the like atmospheric effects in this. I also just remembered that I need to get my stuff ready to um, rank this album. I got this at the Shiny Foundation. Uh, wait, actually, is it this album? Is it this album? I don't think it is. Because I saw him recently talk about how one of his songs is actually about Jonghyun. And I just remembered that because, you know, this is from the Shiny Foundation, which is the foundation that was sought, set up in his memory um, by his sister. So, yeah. But yeah, I just remembered that. I need to look that up after I listen to this song because I want to make sure that if it is one of the songs on this album that I catch that. But yeah, let's keep going. Uh, This is pretty. Yeah, 
this I love this guitar the way this guitar is done reminds me a lot of like early rock in general there's like his tone too like like the type of rock that nowadays you'd listen to and you didn't realize that it was rock music you know um <laughs> because nowadays rock music is very hard and it wasn't in its inception that kind of rock music is what he reminds me of it's beautiful <laughs> This is so beautiful. Like, I just, I, I'm sorry for, like, not talking much. I'm just falling into this. I love the, like, I love the effect on his vocals and on this music in general. It does feel like distance, like an echo. It, I almost feel like it's kind of like, like when you're in the bathtub and you just, like, lower your ears and no water. It kind of sounds like I'm hearing his music through the water. It's beautiful. I love it. And then also he's like, the way he's singing it sounds very dejected. Damn, so <laughs> Damn. This song is giving me like summertime sadness, like being depressed on a beautiful July evening. I love it. It's gorgeous. This is beautiful. Mayday. Beautiful. Man, I knew after Hurdle that he could make music I would like a lot, but I hadn't, I hadn't taken the dive yet and I have regrets. But yeah, Mayday is gorgeous. Let me look up which song it is that is meant to be about Jonghyun because he said it in his concert because that concert happened the same day <laughs> I was watching Shiny in Korea um, for you now for you now so that's not from this album is it no it's from it's from an older album okay I just wanted to make sure in case it was on this album but that's not okay um, <clears throat> I'm after that I'm very excited. It very much so does give me that like older rock vibe. And I like that type of music. It's also very much a change of pace from what a lot of people are doing right now. And I'm excited for that to hear something different. And yeah, I'm excited. Um, next up, I think this is like the title track, title track. Like it has two titles, but I think like this is like Loki the title. So um, let's go with from one two three or just one two three but not like one two three but one two three <laughs> anyways let's go <laughs> oh it sounds retro again oh yeah uh-huh oh okay oh my gosh that hair suits you sir sumo sumo don't don't jumyeon Jumyeon. <laughs> Keep Jumyeon. <laughs> what are we doing right now? What are we doing right now? <laughs> Why are we doing this? I'm fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, 
You sorry for your mama? I love I love the like retro instrumental with the like sci-fi theme it's giving like it, it's making me think of like 2001 a space odyssey like that retro futuristic stuff if that makes sense I love that uh, also this is very much so giving me hurdle vibes again which I loved man he looks beautiful without hair Okay, sir. Okay, sir! That sounded gorgeous. Damn, I'm so in love. Damn, I'm so in love. EXO really be making me fall like one member at a time like I started with just Kai then it was Kai and Baekhyun and then Shumin and then like like I keep falling in love with another member like slowly but surely and it's really really becoming an issue okay so Love I like that line. A line becomes an edge if you see it differently. Like Why are you so pretty though? Why, why'd you get the arms out? What did I do to you? Maybe I shouldn't go to his concert because the danger that I fall deeply in love is like way too big. Like way too big. I just cannot stress enough that this man is not even a main vocal in his group. Like, SM really be doing things differently when it comes to vocals. Ah! Get it to oh, That will settle! Damn, the runs! Damn, Suho! This is a jam and a half! I love that song. I do have to say, I think I actually prefer Mayday. But both of those songs are like actually perfect, wouldn't change a damn thing. Um, 
adore, adore them. I think the only reason I prefer Mayday is because I am still an emo girly at heart and it made me feel a little bit more sad. And sometimes I like being sad. <laughs> Maybe I'm feeling that summertime sadness today. It is June now, you know. Got that summertime, summertime sadness. Sometimes it happens. Um, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. This is a really cool album thus far. God damn it. It can't be too good because I don't want to buy it. Look at this shelf. Look at this shelf. It's full to bursting. I cannot buy another album. I literally cannot. I literally, like, already keeping up with my co ongoing collections is already bad enough. I already collect the discographies of four EXO members. I cannot collect Suhu's. I cannot do that. With Baekhyun, Kai, Shumin, wh wh who luckily thus far only has one ever, uh, album, but still, and Kyung Soo, like, I cannot, I cannot do him as well. I just, I can't, I can't, I, but I want it. I want this album. But it, I can't. I can't. Like, look at that. Like, that is ridiculous. Like, this is ridiculous. But if I go see him, I have to buy the EXO light stick. I was just in Korea. Could have bought it there. Would have been so much cheaper. I can't buy the EXO light stick right now. I can't do that. I Where would I put it? Before you say there's a gap there, there's a light stick that needs to go there. It's just currently still being finished. Like I had to move some light sticks down here. Like I'm, I'm, I'm out of space. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know, I once heard somebody say "Stan everyone," and I took I took it too literally. I took it too literally. I took it way too literally. Okay. <clears throat> Next up, we've got cheese with Wendy of Red Velvet. <laughs> oh, it's good. I literally keep want this song to be shit. That's where I'm at. I already love it. Get it hot. Okay. And he's so pretty. What is this tone, sir? Why are you doing this to me? I feel like I was personally victimized with this album. I love me a retro sound. I love this retro rock sound he's doing. Like legitimately, I feel personally attacked. I'm fine. This is so good. Oh, sir. <laughs> I do find cheese to be a slightly strange meta metaphor for a relationship, but okay. Oh, it's, it's the signature 2009 SM lip move. He brought it back to the year 2024. Okay. Okay, Wendy. I love, I love how this is meant to be like that farmer painting. That part's my favorite part.
Okay. No, sir, that's too attractive. Like, that's legitimately too attractive. Put the guitar down, step away. Leave me, let me breathe. Oh, and it sounds so good. Has thou observed a cheese in slow decay? Yet stout it stands, and strong it doth remain. Our love is like this cheese, both rich and rare. Thou would, thou mold may mar. It's as though mold may mar. It's as and won't forsake. In jest, our love like cheese may seem a jest. Yet both are true, and both past times great jest. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, you know what? I love it. I like it. <clears throat> I do think cheese has grabbed me the least of the three thus far. Thus far, my ranking is legitimately just the track list. Amazing. Just, just in order of track list. I like cheese. But yeah, maybe just because I'm now coming to expect this sound that I'm like, okay, okay, it's good, but it, it didn't blow me away like the other two. But yeah, I like it. It's good. I have no, I have no criticism against it. That's where I'm at. Um, the last one for this video is wishful thinking. So let's go with that one. Mm. Mm. Is it gonna be slower again? Mm. I might be in trouble with this one. <laughs> Sorry, the way he said that harmony it sounded like a dying bird. I'm not kidding. This is the hottest thing I've heard in a while. Like, I just take me now, so it's fine. The pain. The way he trails off on that thinking, I'm gonna die. Oh, 
I legitimately all intelligent thought has left my brain. All that's there is just Suho's voice. I just I can't I can't I can't I don't I don't have words. I all I have is noises. The noises ah, that's the noise I've got. The effects on this line, his, his high, hmm. Uh. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. like I heard him say that he really likes the Beatles and this doesn't per se sound like the Beatles but I feel like I can hear the influence and it's mm, like I hear it I get it literally that one's my favorite yet I'm actually not okay this album is a masterpiece thus far. I would not change a single thing about any of these four songs. And I'm not okay. Like, I'm legitimately not okay. Like, I legitimately need help. Like, that's where I'm at right now. Like, I need help. I need an adult. I need Subu to, like, leave me alone. Like, I need to forget that he exists so I can go on with my life and be okay. Like, that's where I'm at right now. Bro, um, right now my ranking is wishful thinking and then basically the track list in order. Mayday, one, two, three, then cheese. But <sighs> he's putting me through it. Um, let me know what your favorite Suho song not from this album is. And if you want me to check out the, the, the other stuff he's done and if I should go see him here in Germany. I might go. I'll probably go. I have to check if I have time. It depends on when in July he's coming. Because I know he's coming in July. But I've got some other plans in July. So I'm going to have to see. But yeah, we'll see. That's it from me for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I have some EXO stuff over on Patreon. Currently I'm checking out EXO Arcade. So if you want to see that. I also have his. I have the Limujin services by the people who have done them. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.